Hello guys and girls, my name is Levi here. Welcome back to ABL Season 3, week number 8 for our match against SV in the Salem Sylveons. If you did not see the team, then I highly recommend you go check it out. I won't be going over the team I brought, so if you want to know the sets and moves and stuff, all that good stuff we have in the ring, then go check out that video. Now, I'm not sure if there will be a late on this or not, because one, I, I decided to record this last minute, so I don't know if I'll have time to make one, but if there is one, then there is one. So don't complain. Also, the video will probably be like six minutes, so I don't know if it's really worth it to make a layout for a six minute long video. But let's dive right into this. So he brought God of War, Suicune, Mega Venusaur, Lander, Stern, Bisharp, and Haxor. So a team I thought would come. He didn't bring the Galvantula, which shocked me a bit. Instead, he brought the God of War, so I was a bit caught off guard with that. But the Guard of War did have a Thunderbolt, so I guess it could kind of do what the Galvantula wanted to do. Kind of not at the same time. Obviously, you can't set up Sticky Wheels, but let's go ahead and dive right into this right away here so i leave my celeste deal because it matches up well with like literally everything and it, it dealt with on the off chance he wanted to leave with the lander stirring and try to um set rocks right off the bat so that was my idea but i'm leading with celeste deal and i didn't really have a, a good lead for this match because mega meta champ didn't have fake out uh my extra could lead but he does have a landerist which is a volt switch immunity and uh i have no u-turners so I don't really know who to lead with, so I, I just went with Celestial because, like I said, it just matched up everything well. So he actually goes on the Gardevoir here, which I was like, okay, this is really shocking. As I had taught him, I see because it's fairly safe, um, and there's really nothing else I wanted to do. But he goes on the Gardevoir here, which kind of, like, freaked me out. I was like, okay, what does this thing want to do here? I kind of thought maybe he would be, like, a weird Fightinium Z set, and I what. I wanted, sorry, I'm burping. And I wanted to avoid damage on my Celestia because, like, I didn't want to take a possible Phytinium Z into um, a Sucker Punch from Bisharp. Now, at the beginning, I said I had Thunder, it had Thunderbolt, but I did not know this in the match. I completely forgot Gardevoir got Thunderbolt. So, uh, I actually doubled into my Lodic or Latias here. This is actually a misclick as well. Hang on, I'm going too far. This was a misclick. I meant to go... Hang on, now I went too far back. I went, I meant to go into my Lodic on the Gardevoir, which he doubled in the less, uh, into the Landorus, but I accidentally clicked Mega Latias, or regular Latias. Man, I cannot speak today. So, if he stayed in with the Gardevoir and just, like, Moonblasted me for some reason, that would have been pretty bad for my Latias, because I would have lost that right away. So, but it's Latias versus Landorus soon. I go for the Magical on the off chance he wants to try and get rocks up, but he actually goes for the Protect right away. Probably just got a 5 Ice Beam, possibly. He goes for a Protect again. I just fire off the Psychic, because you know it hits him very hard. As I go for it again and get some nice damage on this thing. He goes for the U-turn. It's going to do a decent chunk to me as he doubles back into the Gardevoir here. He's going to trace my Levitate. Uh, I don't remember what I do. I think I just go in the Celesteela. I go in the Celesteela this turn. He goes to Shadow Belt. This is a decent chunk to me. He switches out. Uh, I, th I think I taught him as a game. Actually, I think I Air Slash. Yeah, Air Slash. Gets some nice damage on the Slenders. He goes for the Rock. Something, whatever. There's nothing I can do about it. As I Atomize. And I'm going to become Nimble and Lightened. As I go for the Air Slash, we're going to be able to knock out the Lando. And I get my Beast Boost, which is very good. He goes into the Gardevoir here. Um, I think... Yes, uh, I pop my Z-Move here. Because uh, an offensive Gardevoir was... This was a guaranteed Oko, which was cool. So we're going to knock out the Gardevoir. And I'm going to be able to get to plus two. thing that sucks, though, is he can just go into this Bisharp and click Sucker Punch on me. As I go for the Autotomize... The only way I could beat this Bisharp is if I tried the 1v1, and it was basically a 50-50 whether or not I predict him to click, not Sucker Punch. Unfortunately, I predicted wrong in the second turn, and uh, it cost me. I, I clicked Earthquake there, which would have actually not knocked him out anyway, because he did have a Focus Sash, you'll see later in the battle. So, regardless, I wouldn't have won with Celestial there, because he would have lived thanks to the Focus Sash anyway, and he would have probably Sucker Punched me there. So I go into my Lodic. Now... This could be bad for me because uh, I kind of thought he would click knock off there, get rid of my flame orb right off the bat, which would have been pretty bad for me, but he doesn't. I guess he didn't want to get Skull Burden, which makes sense, of course, but uh, I, I get my flame orb activated now, so I'm safe to send him the sharp all the time now. He goes in the Mega Venus, so I click Skull, no burn though. As I go into my Delmise here, because I don't really have a switch in this, because I feel like he's probably going to click Elise here, and I can be immune to that. And Delmise is Joyce Banner with Earthquake, so I can do some decent chunk, decent damage to him. He whips up the Toxic. But I don't really care about that. I don't really need Delmise this game. It's just nice for the Suicune, but I still have Manetric right there, which is healthy, so I wasn't really worried about Man uh, Suicune being a problem. So I'm just going to stay in here. Oh, I get a crit Earthquake, which was cool. But I'm just staying in here, kind of just spamming Earthquakes for this thing. Basically, what I was doing is um, 
Just trying to wood them down, honestly. And I, I was originally going to stack my Delmice and just keep Earthquake spamming him, but I thought to myself, you know what? He's gonna click Synthesis this turn. This is a great opportunity for bring, for me to bring in my Mega Metacham and it also keep my Delmice alive. So I decided to do that. I'm gonna Mega Evolve here, and I didn't think he would stay in here, but he does, probably sacking it. He goes to the Leech Seed, unless he was trying to predict my High Jump Kick or Drain Punch, whatever. But I do decide to go for the Bulk up here, and I talk, and I uh, Zen Headbutt and knock this guy out. As he goes, go, yeah, goes to the Bisharp, Drain Punch, as you could see, like the Slash I was talking about earlier, not gonna KO him, which is on 4, and she reveals the Shadow Call, which is really cool. Really cool set, but my plus 1 defense here helping me out there. Uh, Sucker Punch, gonna do a decent chunk to me, but I'll end my defense boost, going to help me a lot there again. <laughs> so he goes into the Suicune here, and I'm like, okay, not really much I can do here, I'm just gonna click Drain Punch again, I'm gonna get a lot of health back. He reveals the Hydro Pump, and it knocks me out, I was like, wild, he was Life Orb, he must have been an offensive Suicune, which is cool, but... It's a shame here because Mega Manichem would have won the game there if I dodged a pump or it didn't knock me out because I, I outsped Haxus and I definitely knocked it out. I had Ice Punch, so it was dead. But I go into my Manectric here. So I go for the Volt Switch on the off chance he wants to try and double into the Haxorus here. And uh, here is where uh, the entire battle turns around here. My Loaded comes in. Haxorus comes in, he's gonna drag a into my face. I go for the ice beam, because it's not it's basically the best thing I could do. I had haze on this thing, but like there's really no point of going for haze because uh, I was burned. He could slowly 1v1 my Milotic. It would take a very long time, but he would be able to 1v1 my Milotic probably. So yeah, it is what it is. He's gonna outrage and that knocks me out. I kinda thought I would live. But I didn't on four, and this is where it's GG. And yet again, another Haxorus has beaten me in a league. I don't know how many times a Haxorus has beat me in a league, but I don't know why. I just always end up getting swept by a Haxorus. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is, but as you can see, this thing is just going to completely reverse sweep me. The only way I won this is if he hit himself in confusion here, so I was really banking that, which is why I sacked everything else, because uh, Mega Manectric, uh, not Mega Manectric, regular Manectric could HP ice him. And, um, yeah, that's really it. <laughs> it's the best thing I had to hit this thing. And no, nothing else lived outrage anyway, so it's like, unfortunately, he is not going to hit himself in confusion, though. And I'm going to lose that. And he actually lives on 1%. So I literally lost this battle by the skin of my teeth. Wait, does that make sense? I don't know if it does or not, but oh well. Um, but yeah, oh, oh, I accidentally reset it. Whoops, but actually, I want to go back to the turn anyway and talk about that this turn here a lot of people uh so, some people might be saying why didn't you just go uh Latios on the Haxorus instead of my Lodic well because if you watch my team builder then you know Latios did not have a dragon type move if I did have a dragon type move I would 100% went into that 100% because I would have outsped and uh he would be dead from a Jurgle Meteor unless I would miss which would be Mega and Fort but it is what it is. We take a 1-0 loss here. Really unfortunate. I basically have to win out the rest of my season to win playoffs. I mean, that's not the only scenario that, ha that can happen to for me to make playoffs. I have a good differential for my record. I think my record's going to be like 0 after this match or 1. I think it's going to be 0-1. And for a team that is 3-6, and six, I think, or 3-5, and five, I don't remember. But that's pretty good. And basically, all the other teams would have to, like, lose. <laughs> and lose by a lot of points, so that way I could be, uh, make top 8 and make playoffs. But, I'm going to be honest, I don't see me making playoffs. One, I don't see the rest of the teams losing badly. And two, I think it's highly unlikely that I win out the rest of the season. I've made, I've made runs before. PWL season 1, I made a good run for playoffs, but... Uh, to be hacked out in my playoff match or in the playoff decider so uh, yes it's possible but do i think i can do it probably not if i lose next week uh i probably can guarantee i'm out of playoffs but yeah without further ado i'll try though i'm still gonna try and make playoffs here because you know i love abl i want to be in playoffs in my own league <laughs> i mean i can just rig it but okay i'm gonna get that out of here see you guys later